healthy budget for a house in Hampshire. Escape to the country in 45 minutes. Now, BBC One, we all know the rules of the game by now. Welcome to the quiz show that demands nothing less than perfection. Behind this screen are four contestants who will be hoping their knowledge is flawless because one single mistake could give the game away. This is perfection. Welcome to the quiz show where only perfect play is good enough. Behind me are the contestants. We call them the usual suspects. They're in our isolation room. In a moment, we'll find out which one of them has been randomly selected to join me here to play perfection. They'll then face a series of true or false statements. For example, if I said Bob Holness once played James Bond on the radio, is that true or false? Well, if you'd said true, I can tell you you'd be right. Answering true or false might seem easy, but if the contestant gets a single answer wrong, their opponents, the usual suspects, will be allowed into the game to capitalise on their mistakes. So, you know how the game works. Let's meet the usual suspects. I'm Bob from Southampton. I'm a plastic consultant and this is my first game. I'm Vicky. I'm from Brighton. I'm a police officer and this is my first game. I'm Aubrey from Burton-on-Trent. I'm a brewery worker and this is my second game. I'm Jessica, I'm from Stockport, I'm a biology student and this is my fourth game. Hello, usual suspects, welcome to the game. Aubrey, nice to see you again. How's it been in the break? Busy. Famous, signing autographs, obviously, since you appeared on the show. Signing autographs, opening supermarkets, nightclub appearances. I need your agent, obviously, because I'm not getting any of those things to do. So. <laughs> you pleased to be back, Jessica? Um, yeah, I am. And are you happy to stay team captain, or do you want to come down and play for um, the money? I think I'll give someone else a go at captain, and I'll come down and get some money. Well, welcome to all of you, and best of luck, as we now find out which one of you has been randomly picked to play perfection. Vicky, you've been chosen. Please come and play perfection. <laughs> Vicky, welcome to the game. Thank you. It's now you versus the usual suspects. They were your teammates, now they're your enemies. Their job is to stop you winning the prize fund because your failure will mean the prize money rolls over to the next game where one of them could be sitting here playing for a much bigger total. Every game on perfection is worth £1,000. Here's the good news. At the end of the last series, nobody had won the pass three games, so the prize fund currently stands at £4,000. Lovely. <laughs> so, that's a nice sum to get, if you can get it. Uh, what would you spend Lovely. the money on, Vicky? Oh, I wouldn't have any trouble doing that. That would be holiday, Disney, probably for the boys, and shoes for mummy. <laughs> <laughs> got a bit of a shoe thing going on. I love right? shoes, Mind yeah. you, what woman hasn't got a bit of a shoe <laughs> thing going on? All right, well, look, good luck. Here's how the game works. You'll play three rounds and then a final. Every round that you achieve perfection will make the final easier for you. However, if your performance is anything less than perfect, the usual suspects will have the chance to step in and steal the round, making the final that much harder. The usual suspects, we're going to switch you off for now so you can't see or hear anything. But speak soon. Bye. And away they go. Vicky, you can now talk through your answers without giving away any vital knowledge, OK? OK. Each round consists of four true or false statements. You'll be answering against the clock. You'll only have 45 seconds. And once you've given your answer, your first answer, it'll be locked in. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, Nick. OK, let's play perfection. <laughs> Your 45 seconds starts now. In 2010, a 13-year-old boy climbed Mount Everest. True. You're saying true. Barack Obama was born in Hawaii. True. True. The great white is the largest species of shark. Mm, not quite sure. What do you think? I'll go for true at the moment. True. True. And finally, Stephen Fry is a lifelong fan of Manchester United. Oh, football question. <laughs> Even with Stephen Fry. Uh, true. Go true. True. OK, you've answered all four statements. What do you think? I think 50-50, maybe. Which one are you worried about? The last one. Just because you know nothing about football? It's a football question, no. <laughs> so keep away from those in future. Right, before we reveal how well you've done, it's time to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these are the four statements, and next to them are Vicky's answers. Aubrey, what do you think? I think there's definitely one wrong. Which one? Uh, D. 
Stephen Fry doesn't support Man United, as far as I know. Interesting. Vicky, the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. It's stopped at two. Vicky, unfortunately, you didn't manage perfection. You've now let your enemies, the usual suspects, into the game. Usual suspects, you can steal the round. You can see Vicky's answers. You need to change two of them. So definitely D, Danny. Definitely D, D. Do, um, do you remember the boy crying in the Mount Everest? Yes. So definite. Yeah. So I think it would be the C green shark. Yeah. yeah. As the longest serving member of the usual suspects, Jessica, you're a captain. Would you like to tell me which ones you'd like to change? Can we change C from true to false, please? D from true to false. Leaving A and B as answered, both true. Usual suspects, let's find out what the correct answers are. If the statement turns green, it's true. If it turns red, it's false. In 2010, a 13-year-old boy climbed Mount Everest. Is that true or false? It is true. Jordan Romero was his name. OK, Barack Obama was born in Hawaii. Is it true or false? It is true. The great white is the largest species of shark. Is that true or false? You need this to turn red, usual suspects. False. The basking shark and whale shark are both larger. It is false. And finally, we know where this is going now. Stephen Fry is a lifelong fan of Manchester United. Is that true or false? It is false. Congratulations, usual suspects. You've achieved perfection. <laughs> Uh, just so that you know, Stephen Fry is actually a lifelong fan of Norwich City. Use your suspects. You now have the opportunity to make Vicky's chances of winning the prize fund that much harder in the final. Vicky, this is your final board. These six blank spaces need to be filled with subject categories. Behind each category will be a true or false statement. Here are your final round categories. They range through astronauts to fairy tales and many more in between. If you had have won that round, you would now have the opportunity of adding two categories of your choice to that board. But because the usual suspects stole the round from you, they get to choose the two categories, hoping to make the final harder for you to win. So, usual suspects, which two would you like to choose to try and trip up Vicky in the final? Golfers and what? Okay. Okay. Um, Nick, yes? uh, we decided sci-fi and golfers. Sci-fi goes across, and golfers goes across as well. Well done, usual suspects. You've won the first round. It's time to switch you off, and we'll see you in round two. Vicky, with the usual suspects gone, they can't hear you. What do you think of their choices? Any good at sci-fi? Depends. It could be uh, something out of centre, so it might be anything to do. It could be. Mm, golfers? Golfers, not so keen on golfers. Not so keen. <laughs> I have a feeling you might not. Um, so, over on the left, they're looking at those subjects. Which ones would you like to avoid, apart from the two they've already chosen? Architecture and possibly astronauts. It's only the first round. You still have two more rounds to find perfection and choose your own categories for the final. You ready for the next round? Yes. I'm OK, ready. let's play round two. <laughs> your 45 seconds starts now. The P in PG Woodhouse stands for Percival. I'm not sure about that one. I'm going to say mm, false. False. Olga Corbett was Olympic champion in the shot put. No, she wasn't. She was a gymnast. That's false. False. Sir Walter Raleigh was executed. Oh, I'm not sure if he was or if he wasn't. Maybe he was. I don't think so, though. I'll say false, Nick. False. And finally, David Bowie's right eye is made of glass. I hope it's the right one. He has got a false eye. I'll say true. True. And with a little bit of time still to spare, you've answered all four statements. Do you think you might have achieved perfection? I hope so. Which one are you worried about? Um, I'm not sure about the PG Woodhouse one more than either of them. And maybe Sir Walter Riley. Before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these were the four statements, and next to them are Vicky's answers. Bob, has she got them all right? Oh, no, Nick. Um, I think there's definitely one wrong. Which one? Uh, D. You think D's wrong? Yes. OK, Vicky, the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. <laughs> 
two again only halfway to perfection and halfway is not good enough having failed to achieve perfection you've now let your enemies the usual suspects into the game usual suspects you can see vicky's answers you need to change two of them which two uh, d d definitely yeah. France. maybe c I'd, I'd guess it's c or a i'll go for c because that was said first yeah. and i don't know <laughs> so jessica um yes can we change c from false to true C from false to true. And D from true to false, please. And D from true to false, leaving A as false and B as false as originally selected. Let's find out what the correct answers are. The P in PG Woodhouse stands for Percival. True or false? It is false. It stands for Pelham. Olga Corbett was Olympic champion in the shot put. True or false? Yeah, it's false. You're absolutely right, Vicky. She was, of course, a gymnast. So Walter Riley was executed. Is this true or false? It is true. He was executed for treason. So we all know where this is going now. David Bowie's right eye is made of glass. Is that true or false? It is false. Congratulations, usual suspects. You have achieved perfection. He does have unusual eyes, David Bowie. They appear to be two different colours, but you're right, neither of them is glass. Um, Vicky, the usual suspects have succeeded where you failed and they've stolen the round. Again. Yeah, again, that's the point. Let's see the final board. There we go, sci-fi and golfers are already on there, chosen by the usual suspects. Because you won the round, you've earned the right to choose the next two categories to add to the board. Inventors. I'd say inventors. Yeah. And... Maybe spies. Yeah, spies. Oh, why not? Yeah. Uh, Nick, can we have spies, please? Spies goes across. And inventors. And inventors. You're doing very well here, usual suspects, aren't you? Yeah. Time to switch you off and we'll see you in round three. Cheerio. And away they go. Vicky, with the usual suspects gone, spies and inventors, what do you make of them? I'm not as worried about them as I was about the first two, but they're very masculine subjects. All right, you still have one more chance to okay. achieve perfection and choose your own categories for the final. It would be nice for you to choose the last two on that list, wouldn't it? It would, really nice. All right, you ready to play the next round? Yes, Nick. OK, let's play round three. <laughs> your 45 seconds starts now. The TV sitcom Miranda is set in a library. Uh, no, it's all over the place, different places. It's a gym. It's false. False. Mozambique is located on the east coast of Africa. I'm not sure if it's east or west. False. False. The Adams family was created by Roald Dahl. No, that's false. Not the Adams family. False. And finally, the Mounties are a police force founded in Alaska. Mounties, yes, true. True. And with plenty of time still left, you have answered all four statements. Now, that sounded to me like a very positive round from you. It felt better. Yeah, it did. Um, I'm unsure about B, Mozambique one. The Mozambique one's the worry, isn't it? Yeah, more than the others. OK, well, before we reveal exactly how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these were the four statements, and next to them are Vicky's answers. Aubrey, how do you think she's done this time? Uh, sorry to say, Vicky, you haven't got perfection. Um, I believe... A is wrong. You think A is wrong? Yes. You think it was actually set in a library? I think so, but I've never watched it. Well, that's a big call, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, Jessica. I actually think she's got perfection. I've seen Miranda, and it's not in a library. Oh, no, that's interesting. OK, Vicky, the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. Just two again. You've been consistent, <laughs> but consistently not perfect, unfortunately. Which means you've let in the usual suspects. Mm. They now have the chance to steal the round. You can see Vicky's answers. You need to change two of them. I think the Mounties are in Canada. Canada, not Alaska. Alaska's America, yeah. yeah. Adam's family's not Roald Dahl, is it, though? That is um, false, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, B and D. Are you yeah. all agreed, yeah. or Aubrey and Jessica, you're deciding just between you? <laughs> I get the feeling that... Agree. 
<laughs> Bob, are you getting well, a look at all here? Oh, well, I think they're ganging up on you, Nick. You think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, OK. Well, there you go. Jessica, what do you want to change? Can we change B from false to true, please? You can change B from false to true. And D from true to false. And D from true to false. Leaving A false, as originally said, and C false, just as Vicky said in the first place. So, usual suspects, let's find out what the correct answers are. The TV sitcom Miranda is set in a library. Is that true or false? It is false. It's actually a joke shop. It's actually set in, yeah. OK, Mozambique is located on the east coast of Africa. Is that true or false? It is true. The Adams Family was created by Roald Dahl. Is that true or false? It's false. The original cartoon was by Charles Adams. And finally, and you know where this is going now, don't you? The Mounties are a police force founded in Alaska. You sighed as soon as they said it, didn't you? Is it true or false? Yup, it's false. Congratulations, usual suspects. You've achieved perfection. <laughs> yeah, the moment they said Canada, you went, oh, I know. I knew that. Yeah, people often confuse Alaska with Canada. I shouldn't they? It's only Alaskans who get upset about that, to be honest. <laughs> um, OK, well, uh, Vicky, the usual suspects have succeeded where you oh. failed, and they've stolen the round again. Three you times. Yeah, you didn't win a single round. No. Usual suspects, you now have the opportunity to make Vicky's chance of winning the prize fund just about as hard as it can possibly be. Let's see the final board. Already up there are sci-fi golfers, spies and inventors, <laughs> all chosen by you, the usual suspects. And because you won the round, what do you think is going to make it more difficult for Vicky to win? Architecture. Uh, OK. Yes. So you came up there, so I'll pick those. The two rays. <laughs> yes. Uh, can I have astronauts, please? Astronauts goes across. And architecture. And architecture. We now know our six final categories. OK, guys, well played to you, but it's time to switch you off for the final time. And away they go. What do you make of that board? Really couldn't have been any more difficult, really, could it? No. Pretty much got all the subjects Horrible. you said you didn't want. Tricky, difficult. Vicky, for £4,000, it's time to play the final. <laughs> Vicky, this is the all-important final. If you can achieve perfection, you could be leaving with a prize fund of four thousand pounds if you fail you'll be leaving with nothing which of course will be great news for the usual suspects as one of them could be playing for a roll over five thousand pounds in the next game and you don't want that to happen no i don't right let's play the final round <laughs> vicky here are your final six categories there's no time limit but once you've given an answer your first answer it's locked in okay you ready yes Let's reveal your first statement. Please tell me whether you believe it to be true or false. Sci-fi. Blade Runner is based on a work by Philip K. Dick. I'm not sure about that one. I've heard of Blade Runner, definitely. I'll say true, Nick. True. Golfers. Ian Poulter claims to be allergic to grass. Why would he be a golfer? <laughs> I'll say true. Go true. True. Spies. Kim Felby graduated from Oxford University. I'm not sure about that one. I'll go true again, I think. True, Nick. True. Inventors. Isaac Singer was a pioneer of the sewing machine. I'm not sure what his first name was. I know a singer is a sewing machine. I think I'm going to say another true, then. True. Astronauts. The first American in space was John Glenn. No, I haven't heard his name before. I'm going to say false, Nick, for that one. False. And finally, architecture. Richard Rogers designed the new Wembley Stadium. Hmm. I like the new Wembley Stadium. I'm not sure if it's Richard Rogers, but it sounds like it might be. I'll say true for that one. True. Vicky, those answers are now locked in. Remember, if there's one single mistake, you leave with nothing. Was that a good round or a bad round? Yeah. No, it was bad. Which ones are you most worried about? I would need help with the King Philby one, uh -huh. Blade Runner, and probably the Ian Poulter. I've not so heard it's, of him. it's the top half of the board that you're worried yeah, about. Yeah, I think so. 
<laughs> okay, well, let's bring back the usual suspects to see what they've got to say. Usual suspects, you can now see the final six statements, and next to them are Vicky's answers. Vicky, your answers are locked in, and you can't change them by yourself. But if you think you've made a mistake, you can unlock the board with the help of the usual suspects. This will, however, come at a cost. Usual suspects, I'm now going to ask you to tell me how well you think Vicky has done, if you want to help, and if you do, how much it will cost. Vicky, who would you like to hear from first? Bob, I think. Vicky, uh, I think you have three uh, incorrect. So I'm willing to come down to help you for half the prize money. So prize money currently stands at £4,000. He wants £2,000 of it to come and help. OK. Who next? Aubrey, please. Hi, Vicky. I don't think you've got perfection, and that's only a think. I think you've got one wrong, and the other five I haven't got a clue on because of the subjects we picked for you. I'm sorry. I couldn't help you at all. You're hoping it's all going to roll over for more money for you next? My nasty side says yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought that might be the theory. So? Uh, Jessica, let's see if she wants to make me a deal. <laughs> um, I'm afraid I'm the same as Aubrey. Like, I think you've got one wrong, but I'm really unsure about the others, so I'm not going to willing to come down, I'm afraid. Well, you do actually have an offer, though, from Bob, who seems to think that he might be able to help you out. I'm not sure, Bob. Oh. I don't uh, think you should have half. Well, I stand by it, so I still say you have three wrong, and I'm willing to come down and share the price money with you. But half and half you want? Yeah. What do you think, Vicky? It's hard, because he said three, and I think I've got three wrong. Do you want to go alone? I think I might prefer to go alone, because I think it'll be the same ones that he's unclear of that I am. So I think I'll go alone, Nick. OK. You're going to go alone? Yes. OK. Decision has been made. Vicky, you've decided to go alone. £4,000 at stake, six answers away. Bob, on this occasion, you've been rejected. Okay. Let's find out if you've achieved perfection. Before we start, Bob, you said you thought there were three that were wrong. Which three did you think was wrong? Uh, I think A, yeah. C, yeah. and E. OK, interesting. Let's find out how we got on. Blade Runner is based on a work by Philip K. Dick. You need this to turn green to get you off to flying start. Is it true or false? It is <laughs> true. <laughs> Great start. The book was Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? You're quite right to have said no to Bob. He'd have come mm. down and changed that for you. <laughs> B. Ian Poulter claims to be allergic to grass. You said this was true. Is it true or false? Yes. It is... Two. So, two out of two, good start. Third of the way to the money. C. Kim Felby graduated from Oxford University. This is the one of the ones that Bob would have changed for you. You need this to turn green as well. Is it true or false? Oh. It's false. <laughs> he was one of the Cambridge spies. Okay. I'm afraid that that means you have not achieved perfection and therefore cannot win the money. I wonder whether you've achieved perfection at home. Let's continue on through the questions and find out, shall we? Isaac Singer was a pioneer of the sewing machine. Is that true or false? It was true. The first American in space was John Glenn. Is that true or false? It was false. It was Alan Shepard. OK, Richard Rogers designed the new Wembley Stadium. Is it true or false? Oh. It is false. It's actually Lord Norman Foster. So, in the end, it was four out of six. Either way, nobody offered you anything that would have helped. You were right to turn now. Bobby couldn't have helped you. Use your suspects. That is good news for you. The prize fund does roll over to the next game, where one of you could be playing for a total of £5,000. Tough game, wasn't it, in the end? It really was, yeah, it really was, with those subjects. Thank you very much for playing. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you, Nick. I really did. Ladies and gentlemen, Vicky. Well, it's now time to meet the next Usual Suspect hoping to play Perfection today. New Usual Suspects, please introduce yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Michael. I'm a trainee teacher from Burnley. Best of luck to all of you as we now find out which one of you has been randomly picked to play Perfection. <laughs> Michael, it's you. You've been chosen. Please come and play Perfection. <laughs> 
Michael, welcome to the game. Cheers. So, trainee teacher? Yeah, yeah, so I'm just looking for a car to get them to university and back every day, really. All oh, right, so you could do, do is some money. Well, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Not for the cost of the car, it's the insurance exactly, these days, yeah. isn't it? How old are you? 21. So, insurance is Definitely, huge, yeah. isn't it, for a lad like yourself? Massive amount of money. All right, well, Michael, it's now you versus the usual suspects. Briefly, they were your teammates, now they're your enemies. Remember, their job is to stop you winning the prize fund. Here's the good news. As nobody has won the past four games, the prize fund currently stands at £5,000. <laughs> Usual suspects, we're going to switch you off for now. Cheerio. Michael, you can now talk through your answers without giving away any vital knowledge. Right, Are you no ready? Worries. I am, yeah. Let's play perfection. <laughs> your 45 seconds starts now. Mickey Rourke was once a professional boxer. Um, I'm pretty certain that's true, yeah. True. The River Thames rises in the Pennines. Um, couldn't be 100% on that, so I'll, I'll have a guess at false. False. The Kookaburra is a type of hummingbird. Um, I've got a funny feeling that's true. I'll go for true. True. And finally, Frank Lloyd Wright was a famous aviator. Again, I'm not sure at all on that. I'll go for true. True. And with plenty of time to spare, you've answered all four statements. Did it feel like a good round for you? No, definitely not. All right, well, before we reveal exactly how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. And don't forget, they'll now be able to hear you. Right. So, usual suspects, these were the four statements, and next to them are Michael's answers. Jessica, has he achieved perfection? Um, I don't think so. I think C's wrong. I think C's wrong. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many you've got correct. <laughs> Two, only halfway to perfection. Usual suspects, can you steal this round? You can see Michael's answers. You need to change two of them. D's wrong. D's wrong. Hey, Wilbur and something else wrong. What's the second one, do you hey. think? Are you sure? You think uh, Ricky okay. Rourke has been a boxer. Has he? I yeah. know he's done films on oh, it, but I, I it was don't West. know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, for he's some reason, film. I think C's wrong, but I, Go don't, for that. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. C and D. Can we change C from true to false, please? You can. And D from true to false, please. Leaving A true and B false, as Michael originally answered. Use your suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. Mickey Rourke was once a professional boxer. Is it true or false? It is True, turned pro in the 90s. B, the River Thames rises in the Pennines. Is it true or false? It is false. The Thames head is up near Sirencester, in actual fact, which is in the Cotswolds. The Kookaburra is a type of hummingbird. True or false? It is, of course, false. It's a type of kingfisher. And finally, Frank Lloyd Wright was a famous aviator. True or false? It is, of course, false. Congratulations, usual suspects. You have achieved perfection. Yeah, Frank Lloyd Wright was, in fact, a famous architect. So, the usual suspects, you now have the opportunity to make Michael's chances of winning the prize fund much harder in the final. And here's how. Michael, this is your final board. Here are your final round categories. They are Royals through to Churchill. The usual suspects, which two would you like Michael to play in the final? I'd say royals, royals yeah. definitely. Yeah. And maybe trees, trees is quite wide. Trees, yeah. Okay. Trees, yeah. Uh, can we have royals, please? And trees. Well done, usual suspects. You've won the first round. It's time to switch you off. We'll see you in round two. What do you make of their choices? Royals, any good? Uh, not at all, nor there. Them choices are far from ideal for me. I, have, <laughs> I haven't got a clue on any of them. It's only the first round. You still have two more rounds to find perfection and choose your own categories for the right. final. So you ready for the next round? Yeah. Let's play round two. <laughs> your 45 seconds starts now. Cricketer Kevin Peterson was born in South Africa. Uh, I'm not a big cricket fan, to be honest with you, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty certain that's true, yeah. True. The Great Barrier Reef is over 4,000 miles long. Uh, I know it's pretty impressive, but uh, I'm not sure if it's that long. I'll go for false. False. Robert Langdon appears in all Dan Brown's books. Not got a clue. Um, I'll have a stab at true. True. And finally, 
Professor Brian Cox is a former member of Oasis. Oh, that's, that's definitely not right. False. False. And with time to spare, you've answered all four statements. You sounded very certain about the last one. I, well, I hope so, otherwise I'm going to be a bit embarrassed. You're a big fan <laughs> of Oasis, are you? I am, yeah. I like Oasis. All right. Well, before we reveal exactly how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects. These were the four statements, and next to them are Michael's answers. How's he done this time round? Aubrey? Uh, well, Michael, I think you were picking two categories of your own, because I think you've got perfection. Interesting. Jessica, do you agree? Um, it could be. I'm unsure about question A, but could have achieved perfection. Wow, a vote of confidence yeah, for you there, yeah, Michael, from the usual mate. suspects. Let's find out how many are correct. Ah, three out of four is close, but no cigar, as they oh, say. You enough. have failed to achieve perfection. <laughs> Usual suspects, you need to change one answer. B or C, definitely B or C. Definitely B or C. A's right, and D's right. B. I'd say B then, because I'm sure C's yeah. right, so... Well, um, I yeah, I mean, over 4,000 miles long. Yeah, I know C's right, so... And if you think A's right, then yeah. we'll go yeah. for... Um, changing B from false to true, please. Leaving A, C and D as answered by Michael. Bob, you didn't look quite so happy about that. Are you, are you in agreement with Aubrey and Jessica? Um, I think it's over 4,000 miles long. I, I've not sort of been to Australia or where. So, yeah. You appear to be pulling expressions that don't match your answers in the end. That's what's, uh, <laughs> that's what's confusing me and Aubrey and Jessica, possibly. Each time they come up with an answer, you go, mm. <laughs> And then I say, don't you agree? Yeah, I do. It's actually. my way. Is that... OK, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, usual suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. Cricketer Kevin Peterson was born in South Africa. Is that true or false? It is true. You're absolutely right. The Great Barrier Reef is over 4,000 miles long. Is it true or false? It's false. It's about 1,250 miles long. So, usual suspects. You had the chance to steal the round from Michael, but you failed to achieve perfection. wonder how you've done at home. Have you achieved perfection? Let's go through the rest of the answers and find out. Robert Langdon appears in all Dan Brown's books. It's false. He only appears in three of them. And Professor Brian Cox is a former member of Oasis. Is that true or false? <laughs> yep, we know that that is false. Although he was actually in a band called Dereen. OK, use your suspects. Had you achieved perfection, you would now have the opportunity to make Michael's chances of winning the prize fund that much harder in the final. Let's have a look at that final board. There are two subjects already on there, but because neither side won the round, the two categories that were due to be chosen will now be carried over to the next round, meaning four categories will be on offer. Usual suspects, I'm going to switch you off. You ready to play the next round? Yeah, ready to have the debate. Good. Let's play round three. <laughs> Your 45 seconds starts now. The Roman numeral D stands for 500. I've not, not really seen that too often, so it's quite uncommon, so I'll go for true. True. Budapest is the capital of Romania. False. False. Calvin Broadus Jr. is the real name of Ice Cube. <laughs> I have no idea on that one. I'll, uh, I'll go for true. True. And finally... Torval and Dean won Olympic gold medals in 1984. I'm pretty certain they won Olympic gold, but I don't know when, but I'll go for true. True, and once again, with time to spare, you've answered all four statements. Did that feel like a perfection round to you? Uh, again, there's a few that I'm not sure on, especially C. That could, that could be anything for all I know. I'm not a big Ice Cube fan. Do any of them look like they might be a big Ice Cube fans? Um, I think Bob could be a dark horse, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these were the four statements, and next to them are Michael's answers. Aubrey. He may have perfection. If he hasn't and he's only got one wrong, then it would be C. For no other reason than it's just a guess. Oh, I was just wondering whether you were a big Ice Cube fan. <laughs> only in a drink. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Bob, are you a bit of a raver yourself? Oh, I am indeed, yes. OK, so uh, do you think he's got one wrong or is yes, he done right? Yes, definitely. Which one? C. Do you know what? <laughs> it's interesting, that, isn't it? OK, Michael, the moment of truth. Let's find out how many you have correct. Ooh. 
Three out of four is not bad, but it's just not good enough. Usual suspects, can you steal the round? You can see Michael's answers. You need to change just one. As you both said. Bob's a raver. See, yes. I'm a raver. <laughs> I think we'll definitely go for C from true to false, please. Leaving A, B and D as answered by Michael. OK, usual suspects, let's find out what the correct answers are. The Roman numeral D stands for 500. Is that true or false? It is true. Budapest is the capital of Romania. True or false? Budapest is, in fact, the capital of Hungary. It is false. So, Calvin Broadus Jr. is the real name of Ice Cube. Michael said it was true. The usual suspects, under the tutelage of Bob and Aubrey, said it was false. Is it true or false? It is false. <laughs> O'Shea Jackson is, in fact, Ice Cube. Of was. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> I'm gobsmacked by that, I really am. <laughs> OK, and finally, Torvald and Dean won Olympic gold medals in 1984. We know where this is going. Is it true or false? It is true in Sarajevo. Congratulations, you to a suspect. You've achieved perfection. So there you go. You to a suspect. You now have the opportunity to make Michael's chances of winning the prize fund just about as hard as it can be. Here it comes. There are two subjects already on there, royals and trees. Because you won the round, you've earned the right to choose the last four categories. That's two from this round and two from the round that rolled over before. So which four would you like Michael to play in the final? You go first, Jessica. Um, I'll go for deserts, please, first. Deserts goes across and becomes the third. Mexican food. Mexican food, please. Mexican food goes in next. Seeing he wants to win the money for a car, I'm going to go for jockeys. OK, can I have jockeys, please? Jockeys? <laughs> I, that, that makes no sense at all to me. <laughs> well, I'm trying to help the, the, the young lad. I still don't quite sure I understand it, but let's press on. Go on. Uh, it's Jessica. my way. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like a Justin Bieber fan, does I it? I know, just... No, it can't be much on him, but... Mm. He doesn't look like oh, a fan, so we'll go Justin Bieber. And Justin Bieber goes across to become the sixth subject in the final. OK, guys, it's time to switch you off for the final time. And away they go. OK, Michael, for £5,000, it's time to play the final. <laughs> Michael, this is the all-important final. If you can achieve perfection, you could be leaving with a prize fund of £5,000. Let's play the final round. Michael, here are your six final categories. There's no time limit, but once you've given an answer, your first answer, it's locked in. Are you ready? Yeah. Royals. Kate Middleton's mother was an air stewardess. Mm. I remember reading that she's not from a royal background. So, I mean, I suppose... No, I'll, go, I'll go for true. Could feasibly be true. True. Trees. Sequoia is the Latin name for the oak tree. <laughs> I have literally zero idea on that. I'll, I'll go for true. True. Deserts. The Atacama Desert is located in South America. Not heard of that. Um, I'll go for false on that one. False. Yeah, please. Mexican food. The word burrito means little doggy. I can't really see that being true, to be honest with you, so I'll, uh, I'll go for false on that one as well, please. False. Jockeys. Tony McCoy's middle name is Fergal. I'd have picked a category, but I have no idea on that, but uh, I'll go for true. True. And finally, on Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber was born in Canada. See, I've never... I wish I wouldn't have turned interviews with him off as soon as they come on telly. I might have known that. I'll go for false. I think he's American. False. Normally, at this stage, I say which ones are you unsure of, but in view of the <laughs> fact that you started each answer with... Yeah. ..haven't got a clue. <laughs> yeah, through A to F, I'm a bit uncertain. <laughs> All right, let's bring back the usual suspects to see what they've got to say. Usual suspects, you can now see the final six statements, and next to them are Michael's answers. Michael, your answers are locked in, and you can't change them by yourself, but if you think you've made a mistake, you can unlock them with the help of the usual suspects. Right. This will, however, come at a cost. So who would you like to hear from first? Uh, I'll start with Bob. Talk to me, Bob. I think you have two wrong. Are you, uh, are you pretty confident on that? Absolutely. I tell yeah. you what, I'll come down with you 
uh, for £3,000. £3,000 of your potential price fund of £5,000. Right, fair enough. I'll, I'll hear from Aubrey and I might come back to you in that one, Bob. Michael, I haven't got a clue. Subjects uh, were picked for you. I couldn't help you at all, <laughs> even for £5,000. OK, so you're not coming down for any money? I couldn't, no. Jessica, you got any thoughts on it? Um, I know for definite you've got one wrong, but uh, I'm really not sure on the others, so I won't be confident oh. to help you, I'm afraid. So that leaves you with one offer from Bob, who wants £3,000 of your potential prize fund of £5,000. I'd like to accept your offer if I can, Bob, if you stop for that. Yeah? Absolutely. OK, well, negotiations have been agreed. Come down and join us. <laughs> OK, Michael, you've asked Bob for help. If you achieve perfection, it will cost you £3,000 of your potential prize fund of £5,000. Bob, you've now forfeited your chance to play the next game. This is your only shot at winning perfection. Have you made the right decision? We're about to find out. Bob, which answers do you want Michael to change? A. Really? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and D. And D. D. Oh. They're, they're the two I'm most confident about, to be ah, honest with you. <laughs> but <laughs> what about the other ones? Have you got any idea on them? Are they just guesses? Guesses. Guesses, yeah, yeah and we on that one. <laughs> the, the, the Atacama Desert, South America. Atacama Desert. Well, yeah, just, I'll go with that, see. See? Just a matter of interest, Bob. Why did you come down? Well, I thought, you know, give him a hand and... and then together. <laughs> Two <laughs> and <laughs> one. Two and together. Nice! Yeah. Well, a, what a lovely feeling and, that and is. And we got, we got on well, didn't we? Yeah. So. yeah it, <laughs> I think C, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Change that. So, which one do you want to change? Well, we'll change A for starters. A changes from true to false. Um, what about the rest? We'll ch we're changing C as well. C, yeah. Yeah, we'll change C as well, please. C is changing from false to true. And you said D was true as well, didn't you? I think we leave it. Leave it. Right. So well, you're leaving them all with the rest of us staying the same? Yeah, yeah. No more changes? <laughs> no. OK, B, D, E and F remain as answered by Michael. £5,000 at stake, 2000 to Michael, 3000 to Bob, six answers away. Let's find out if you've achieved perfection. Kate Middleton's mother was an air stewardess. Michael, you said it was true. Bob came down to get you to change yeah. it to false. You need this to turn red to get you off to a flying start and to prove it was worth getting Bob down here. <laughs> Is it true or false? It's true. <laughs> Michael and Bob, I'm oh, afraid that you him. have not managed to achieve oh, perfection. Well, yeah. Yeah. Which means you're not going out with the cash. Have you achieved perfection at home? Let's have a look at those questions and answers. Sequoia is the Latin name for the oak tree. Is that true or false? It's false. It's the redwood. The Atacama Desert is located in South America. It is true. That was a good one to change. The word burrito means little doggy. It is, in fact, false. It means little donkey. Right. Tony McCoy's middle name is Fergal. It's false. It's Peter, A.P. Oh, oh, of course. Finally, Justin Bieber was born in Canada. It's true, he was born in oh, Canada. Good round. <laughs> not the greatest round ever, but two out of six, and that's really what comes from not yeah. winning the rounds as you go through and not choosing your, your own subjects. <laughs> Usual suspects, that's fantastic news for you. The prize run rolls over to the next game where one of you could be playing for a total of six thousand pounds and look at them looking very happy about it i'm afraid bob michael you failed to achieve perfection which means you both go home with nothing <laughs> have you enjoyed playing at least absolutely yeah, Do i can tell you have bob have you enjoyed it yeah fabulous ladies and gentlemen bob and michael <laughs> well that's all we have time for please join us next time when our usual suspects have the chance to play again this time for six thousand pounds but remember on this show, we only pay for perfection. Goodbye. Gabriella has every intention of stirring up trouble at Waterloo Road when she finds out Hector and Nicky are together at eight. And Ben's got a crush on a girl and she's staying with the Brockmans. Outnumbered is at nine tonight. On the way, a mum and daughter looking for an escape to the country to house three generations next. I do feel competitive. The red chair really brings it out of you. Team Kylie has begun. The Voice continues Saturday at 10 past 7 on BBC One.